we still remember standing in the gap, standing in the gap. Our preacher for this morning is Pastor Maforo, and I will just invite him to come and bless us. We are ready for you, Pastor Maforo. Please bless us with the words that God has given you. Unmute and bless us. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we want to thank God <clears throat> uh, for his love, and we want to thank God for his goodness. I don't want to waste much uh, time. Uh, just confirm uh, if you can hear me clearly. Loud and clear, Muruti. Okay, thank you so much. I'm in the book of Luke chapter 10. As we come to a close of this month of August, and as we begin a new week and a new month, uh, I want to read from Luke chapter 10 and read verse from verse uh, 19. Luke chapter 10, we're going to read from verse 19 all the way up to verse 20. Okay. And it says there in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, uh, going down to verse 20, it says, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse 20. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, okay, now, I, I want to quickly, just before we pray, I want to quickly uh, explain a concept on mission which I think everybody, and I mean everybody, is supposed to be part and parcel of. You see, uh, the whole concept of heaven is not based on people going there so that we can be free from the lepers of this earth only. But heaven is a gathering of people is going to be a gathering of people that are mission oriented. What is mission? And generally mission is all about serving God, being, being an ambassador of God and carrying a message of God and taking it to regions unknown. Now, why is this important in our each and every day life? When we are vexed with problems, when we are vexed with diseases, when we are vexed with uh, uh, with uh, poverty, and we are vexed with uh, uh, uneasiness and unsettledness and a whole lot of struggles that we have around us, uh, relationships being broken, families being broken, and... and um, loss of jobs and a, a whole lot of things you can name the struggles uh, that you are struggling with why is it important for me to focus on mission because it's very very important jesus says to the disciples when they went you know he picked them two by two and there were 70 of them he sent them out to every place where he was going to go and he says to them carry no money carry no change of clothes carry no food go there and god is going to provide all your needs now watch this everything Everything that the disciples needed was going to be provided for them as long as they were in mission. I'll say it again. Everything that the disciples needed was going to be provided them as long as they were in the mission of God. And can I be quick to say to somebody right there that everything that you need to live in this life, everything that you need to live in this life, it can be provided and it will be provided as long as we are in the mission of God. And the equation has to balance. Sometimes we struggle, and I'm saying sometimes, we struggle with sicknesses and disease, poverty, uh, uneasiness, uh, family struggles and all that. We struggle with lake 
simply because we are not in the mission of God. Jesus says to them, look, I give you power to tread upon scorpions. I give you power to heal the sick. I give you power to do all these great and mighty things that have got to do with each and every day life. Okay, I give you that power. Why? Because you are in the mission of God. The fact that you have partnered with me, I will give you power to be sustained in the world that you are living in. So before I pray for a success in my business, before I pray for employment, before I pray even for promotion, before I pray for success in my studies, before I pray for peace in my family, before I pray for God to heal me, the question is, Am I in the mission of God? Because all these things that we need, everything else that we need for life to move on, for, for life to make, to have meaning, for life to have a, a, a direction and purpose, for us to see the presence of God, we can only attain or tap into that realm as long as we are in the mission of God. Now, remember this as I close. Remember Remember this as I close. God gives his power to his children that are in the mission. God gives his power to his children that are in the mission. You ignore the mission of God, God ignores you as well. I'll say it again. You ignore the mission of God, God will ignore you as well. Which means that your life, you're now living it according to your own ability and strength and own wisdom and knowledge. And we Without God, God will never provide anything for you because whatever you need has got nothing to do with the mission. If I'm going to pray for a good health, the question that God has is if I give you that health, what's in it for me? So God will give me health so that I am able to use that health for my life, yes, but for the purposes of the mission. If God is going to give me a job and I'm going to pray to God, please give me a job. The question still remains, if I give you a job, what is in it for me? And the answer should be, God, if you give me a job, that particular job, it is going to be used for the purposes of the success of your mission. That means that I am going to get into the partnership with God. So if my business has no money, which means God has no money. So if my family has got no peace, which means God has got no peace. So God is going to provide peace for me that surpasses all understanding because I need that peace because my life is in the mission of God. But as long as my life has got no mission oriented or mission purpose, then God has got no reason to partner with you. God has got no reason to partner with me. And I'm going to close with a statement. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, then I saw an angel fly in the midst of the heavens, having an everlasting gospel to preach unto every nation, kindred, tongue, people, and, and, and saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made the heavens and the earth, the seas and the fountains of the waters. But my, my brothers and sisters, that particular angel, if you read from Revelation 1 to the last revelation, most of the times, most of the times when you hear the word angel, it's either that angel is coming from heaven or that angel is coming from God. Most of the times, but in chapter 14, that angel is only flying in the midst of the heavens. That angel is not coming from heaven. That angel is just seen flying in the midst of the heavens. The word angel there simply means a messenger 
or a being on a mission. It means a messenger from the Greek word angelos, which simply means a being on a mission. Now, when God went to heaven, Jesus says, go ye therefore, and he gave us the great commission. So when we go out to spread the word of God, when we go out joining in the mission of God, you and I are that particular angel because we don't come from heaven. But as we spread the word of God, we are flying in the midst of the heavens. And soon and very soon when our work is done here on earth, hallelujah, he's going to come and he's going to take us to heaven. And when we go to heaven is going to wipe away all the tears in our eyes and we will step into the newness of God's life. I'm going to pray for you now as we get ready uh, to pray in the different groups. We're going to close our eyes and I'm going to pray for you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for mission. Thank you for mission because it is in the mission that we get to partner with you, oh God. And as we partner with you, help us to orient our minds, our businesses, our lives, our families, our children, our, 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 our friends, everything else that has got to do with us. Help us to incline it with the mission because you are found in the mission. We are tired of being alone without you and we have discovered the secret. It is because you are living in mission and we have been outside of mission. But help us now as we come and realign our thoughts, our minds, our resources with mission because that is where you are found. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you as we get into a season of prayer.